Hello, so it is Friday and we're doing day two of the devotional from Jesus Loves All prayer journal. It was written by Thelma Comey, it says a little bit about her in the back, who's our Methodist Youth President for the year. And she's an absolutely lovely girl and uh, I've met her uh, several times and uh, she's just written this book really beautifully. So this is day two and it's called Praise. And uh, the reading is from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And the reflection says this, love is lived out. Love is not just a declaration, it is a commitment to action. That God feels love for us is absolutely amazing. It is humbling. God is always patient and kind with us, seeking to shape our lives by love. One thing that God can really challenge us on is whether our Christian lives show something different which is worth living for. If there's nothing that looks particularly necessary or attractive about being a Christian, then what's the point? What if we went out of our way to try to demonstrate God to as many people as we could, not just in our prayers but in our actions and our praise? What if we were loving people full of God's goodness, joy and grace? people would notice. They might not call it God at the time, but there would be something special about us, our relationship with God. The fruit of that relationship is a loving nature. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for the way you love us. Please help me by the power of your Holy Spirit to love as you love, so that my five people may come to know you. Amen. Amen. And then it says here an action point. Do something practical to show Jesus' love to one of your five friends. That's people that you're praying for to come to know Jesus. Or look through your diary and think when you'll speak with them next. Amen.